What is up, Cog Squad? Let's see if we can't finish up the soffit on that coop. Previously on the Cog Blog. You fix and roll with it. I'm gonna try to roll with it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Look at that. Like Smooth butter. as can be. Like butter. Man, I'm gonna go two times fast now. You better get up on that ladder. <laughs> I'm getting now. <laughs> you better go get your stuff finished. <laughs> What is up, Cog Squad? Let's see if we can't finish up the soffit on that coop. When I wake up in the morning, drinking coffee on my balcony, trees are dancing. But let's feed these crazy fools so we can hear. Lord, I'm thankful for everything. All right, goat. Yeah. What's up, Rod and Tony? What's going on, fellas? That, that little silver sea brat right there. That little son of a gun, I swear. Well, get him, Tony. I mean, Rod. Look out, old son. Woo. Rod, Rod ain't playing no games this morning. He's probably telling him to hush because that sea bright crows 24 7. Rod, Rod. What in the world? Oh, Rod ain't playing no games this morning. Hey, you buddy. Hey, Thomas. I know that uh, you kind of taking on the role as like the foreman around here. Holy well, Thomas is just. Ever since Peaches gave him a little bit of authority, he he ain't worth ten cents. Yeah, hey, maybe I can get Scott to help me. Scott? No. I don't know. Find somebody to help me with this soffit. Oh, chickens. Y'all have any idea what's gotten into Thomas? How about you, Boots? You know, ever since Peaches got sick and Thomas kind of proclaimed himself next in charge, he just ain't been worth 15 cents. Do y'all agree with that? We well, might do something about it. Y'all come up with any ideas, put it in the suggestion box, all right? crazy side. I don't know if all quail are like that or just these particular ones, but eh, look crazy. So I have to be really careful going in there and opening up things that we had, had one get out, got in the woods, and what we called it. Thank goodness. In our last video, we had started on the soffit of the coop and just ran out of time. But as you can see, we just about got the front done. We got it J trimmed out. Uh, probably 75% of the way. Need to finish trimming it out. 
and then we can go ahead and start hanging this soft up and hopefully get it finished today. We had a lot of this J trim left over from when we built our house like 14 plus years ago. And we're just gonna put it up like this on one side, this on the other side, and then our vinyl slides right in it. Pretty easy to work with. See, so the sides don't have anything for me to attach the soffit to. So I'm just taking one by sixes and putting them every, you know, everywhere you see one of these uh, one by fours. I'm taking a two by six and I'm putting it there. And that gives me something to attach the soffit to, just like it did in the front. part on this coop is the corners it's just it's a little bit tedious I'm gonna, I almost got this one done I got one more cut I gotta make but it's a little bit tedious but once you get the corners done and it goes really really fast especially if I got Mrs. Kyle Keel cutting them and hand them to hand them handing them handing them hand <laughs> handing them to me we can go we can roll with it That's not too bad for, number one, it's a chicken coop, and for non-vinyl, professional, non-carpenter, country boy, that'd work. Yeah, two more to do. Yes, sir, we got it all trimmed out, as you can see. Now we can start sliding in the, uh, the vinyl, which, you know, the soffit which is basically vinyl siding is all it is, is that we're cutting it. Instead of running it this way, we're running it this way. And that's how it fits up inside your J trim and looks like this. Pretty easy. If it wasn't for the corners, honestly, this would move a lot faster, but the corners are a little bit tedious. But other than that, see what makes the corners so tough is like I got a, I got a spot here, right? So that's gonna be straight and then we're gonna 90 and come back so that's a it's a funky cutout and hopefully hopefully it's 10 inches because these things are 10 inches wide it's not 10 inches wide then that's gonna be problematic but not the end of the world fingers crossed there booyah got on the first try so now I got this little piece here that looks like that's gonna be a pain but we'll get it all right here goes nothing I got a feeling it's gonna be way too big and I think I'm right way too big Voila! Hey, hey, hey! Boo yow! <laughs> Alright, let's put some more up. Alright, got that in. I'm gonna leave the corners undone. That way I hopefully can at least try to get this thing all the way done except the corners. That may take me a little while to cut out and figure out, and I want to get this thing almost all trimmed out. Now, Mrs. Kakil was supposed to help me. She told me to send her a text. She's up there working on the tile floor and said if I needed her for me to send her a text. I sent her a text, asked her did she feel like cutting vinyl while I try to put it up so we could go faster, and she hadn't responded back, so I got a feeling that she's hardcore in there. Mrs. Cocky wanted to redo her floors in the house because we had engineered wood floors and the uh, some of it had gotten down past the wood and was in the engineered part and we just couldn't refinish it. And we got dogs and we got a nine-year-old and we live on a farm. 
So we decided to go with tiles because we knew that would be way easier to clean. It would hide a lot of stuff. So that's what's going on up there. So that's where Mrs. Kyle Keel is. She's up there working on the floor, trying to get it done. So we we'll try to get this thing cut and then put up. It was a morning in June when I heard that tune falling up to the beat of your heart. Like somebody clacking around on the roof. What are you doing up there, Ozella? Here go. Crazy thing. Once again, these short days are absolutely killing me. Hey guys, if you happen to miss any part of this huge coop build, check out one of these playlists right over here if you're new to the channel like what you see hit that subscribe button if you hit that bell notification button that'll let you know when we post a video are you interested in any cock hill uh, merchandise check out that link right down below and as always y'all be